we're going to approve a new NATO strategic concept and uh, reaffirm the unity and determination of our alliance to defend every inch of NATO territory. And uh, Article 5 is sacrosanct, and we mean it when we say an attack against one is an attack against all, every inch. And so, at this summit, uh, the full alliance is going to welcome Finland and Sweden, uh, their historic application for membership, and their decision to move away from neutrality, tradition of neutrality, to join NATO alliance is going to make us stronger and more secure, and NATO stronger. To that end, today I'm announcing the United States will enhance our force posture in Europe and respond to the changed security environment, as well as strengthening our collective security. In Poland, we're going to establish a permanent headquarters of the U.S. 5th Army Corps and uh, strengthening our U.S.-NATO interoperability across the entire eastern flank. In a moment when Putin has shattered peace in Europe uh, and attacked the very, very tenets of rule-based order, the United States and our allies, we're going to step up. We're stepping up. We're pr proving that NATO is more needed now than it ever has been and it's as important as it ever has been. Thank you so much, uh, President Biden. There, Joe, it's really great to see you uh, here in Madrid so soon after we met in the White House in uh, Washington. And thank you for your personal leadership uh, and uh, the U.S. commitment to NATO. Uh, and we also see that in the unwavering support from you and from the United States to Ukraine. Uh, that will be a main issue at the summit today. We'll meet with uh, uh, President Zelensky. He will address uh, the, uh, the summit. And as you said, this will be uh, an historic summit. It will be a transformative summit where we'll make decisions that will actually change this alliance uh, for many years uh, to come. You know, I was asked about this one, about Finland and, uh, and Sweden when each of their leaders came to the White House. And I said, uh, Putin was looking for the Finlandization of Europe. You're going to get the NATOization of Europe. And that's exactly what he didn't want, but exactly what needs to be done to guarantee security for Europe.